Hi everyone, my name is Julia Doherty from Green Umbrella Marketing and today I'm just going to explain to you how Google works. What do I mean by that is how to get you up to the top of Google rankings. Now back in the olden days, 100% how you used to get to the top of Google was by doing a thing called SEO. We've all heard of SEO, Search Engine Optimization. But what does that actually mean? That means as long as you've done things like put good keywords, alt tags, meta descriptions, all that good juicy stuff in the back end of your website, stuff that none of us really understand too much, that's how you used to manipulate the algorithm to get you up to the top of Google. So doing things like keywords and alt tags, etc. Now all that changed, the Google changed the algorithm in June 2010 by this project called Google Caffeine, as in coffee. Now they've upgrade, upgraded that algorithm afterwards, which was Penguin, Hummingbird, Pigeon, all sorts of ones, but it was caffeine that really made the difference. So basically Google announced to the world and said no longer can you just SEO your website and expect it to get anywhere in Google. There are now three key elements to get anywhere in Google. So we have one, two, three. The first key element is a thing called SEO. So it still is really important to make sure that you've optimized your website in the back end. Um, and that's gone from 100% down to a mere 18%. By the way, all of these figures came from a webinar that I saw on HubSpot a little while ago. Now, these figures fluctuate up and down all the time, but this just gives you a rough basic idea. So SEO is still important, but it doesn't make the, it doesn't set the world on fire anymore. The second thing, this is Julia language rather than Google. Google calls it interaction and engagement, but I call it buzz. So Google's little spiders are not just looking at your website now. Google spiders are out there on the whole internet and they're searching the internet to see if there is a buzz created about your business. Are people talking about you in online forums? Are they talking about you on social media sites? You know, suddenly, if you think about it, it makes complete sense. June 2010, Google changes the rules and it's important to be elsewhere online. And suddenly, it's 28% uh, of the algorithm is what Google is looking at. So social media really, really kicks off. And now you can see the reasons why. The third one is, so we've got SEO, we've got Buzz. The biggest slice of the pie is one called Refreshed or New content and that is worth 55% of the algorithm. I'm just going to change this bit of paper over. So what happens is you've got your website up here, Google comes along to your website and it'll go blah, blah, blah. little spiders come along to your website and it will go oh okie dokie there's new stuff on this website great it will go back to Google and then Google will up the rankings. Two weeks later it will come back to your website little spiders and they'll go blah, blah, blah. And it's looking for all the new stuff that's on your website. But if you haven't put any new stuff on your website, it goes back to Google and Google goes, OK, there's nothing new on this website. We'll come back in, say, a month. It comes back in a month. <laughs> nothing new on your website. Okie dokie. We'll come back in three months. You see what I mean? If you're not feeding your website, it's like a plant. It's like a, it's like a garden. You need to feed your website with new content. And I speak to a lot of recruiters, and a lot of recruiters say to me, we'll print our jobs on their website. But if you're doing the same sort of jobs, it's the same word. So Google is not seeing that as new words. One of the other things, so we're going to take that 55%. We need to make sure we now know we need to be putting new content onto the website. That 55% is split. This is how the algorithm works. So 35%, bear with me on this one, 35% of that 55% should be classed as branded content. What do I mean by branded content? So you might have had something that's about you. So it might be meet the team page, you're adding a new person. You might be adding a testimonial. You might be doing some sort of um, charity event or something like that um, that is about you. It's branded content. But Google favours unbranded content. Okay? What do I mean by that? Things that work really well, things like frequently asked questions page, a toolkit, um, blogs, industry news. And if you think about it, it's only blogs have been around, what, 20, 25 years? And it's only in the last sort of five years or so you're hearing people say, do you blog? And this is the reason why we need to get new content on our website. Now, we'll be coming back to you about how to put in a guest blog strategy for your business to get that all important content on your website. So please don't forget, subscribe below and come back and see us soon. Take care. See you now.
Bye.